by eating and spending, it does not decrease as the Lord ever and ever continues to give. The mortal is never afflicted with doubt and he does not suffer any humiliation ever. Nanak says, through the Guru, the name is attained by him on whom the Lord cast his kind glance. Body, the Lord himself is within and without all the hearts. He himself prevails unmanifest and himself is he manifest. For 36 ages, he created pitch darkness and himself abided in void. No Vedas, Puranas and Shastras were there. The Supreme Lord God was all by himself. Withdrawn from all, he himself sat, assuming absolute trance. His extent he himself knows, and himself is he, the unfathomable ocean. Slok third Guru, in egoism, the world is dead and continues to die. As long as there is breath in the body, so long thou did not meditate on the Lord. What shall thou do hereafter? He who is enlightened is on the alert. The unenlightened acts blindly. Nanak says, What man does in this life, he attains and same he obtains hereafter. Third Guru, From the very beginning it is the will of the Lord, but he cannot be meditated without the true Guru. By meeting the true Guru, one realizes the Lord to be within him and he ever remains absorbed in his love. At every breath, he ever contemplates the Lord and not a single breath of his passes in vain. His fear of birth and death departs and he attains the honor of eternal life. Nanak says the Lord gives such a status to him on whom his will falls in grace. For he, the Lord himself is all wise, omniscient and himself is supreme. He himself shows his sight and himself engages man in his meditation. He himself poses as one in complete silence and himself expounds divine knowledge. He does not seem bitter to anyone and is pleasing to all. His praise cannot be described. Ever and ever I am a sacrifice unto him. Slok First Guru Nanak says, In the dark age, goblins are born. Son is the demon, daughter is she demon, and the wife is the chief of those he and she demons. First Guru the Hindus have forgotten the primal Lord and are going the wrong way, as Narad instructed, so they worship the idols. They are blind, dumb, and blindest of blind. The ignorant fools take stones and worship them. Those stones, when they themselves sink, how shall they ferry thee across? Pori, everything is in thy power, and thou art the true king. The devotees are imbued with the love of one Lord, and they have full faith in him. God's name is the ambrosial food which his slaves eat to their fill. Lord's meditation is the true gain by which all the valuables are obtained. Nanak says the saints are dear to the transcendent Lord who is inaccessible and unfathomable. Slok third Guru Everything comes through Lord's will and through Lord's will everything goes. If some fool deems himself powerful he is blind and does blind acts. Nanak says, only he who by guidance of the Guru and on whom the Lord by his will shows grace, understand his order. Third Guru, he is a yogi and he alone finds the way who has obtained the name through the Guru. In that yogi's body, Hamlet, all the virtues abide. Through ritual garbs, one does not attain true yoga. Nanak says, rare is such yogi within whose mind the Lord manifests himself. For he, the Lord himself has created the creatures and himself is he their prop. Himself is he subtle essence and himself the expanse of creation. He himself abides as a solitarian and himself has the large family. Nanak, O Lord, seeks in charity the dust of the feet of the God's saint.